I am in my new place in Seoul. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. It still hasn't hit me that I have moved, but I officially am Seoul Sara. So, this video is going to be all about apartment hunting in Seoul. Realistic edition, because we have all seen these very beautiful videos about apartment hunting in Seoul which asks for a minimum of 10 million Korean won for deposit and let's be real you guys, a lot of people who come to Korea or just travel to a new country are either students or young entrepreneurs or models just a lot of people who don't really have that much money to put for deficit or who would rather use that money for something else so in today's video i'm going to focus on helping people who do not have that much money to put on deficit so we are looking into realistically what your expectations can be like when you come to korea and you start apartment hunting so let's run over quickly what we're going to be talking about in this video first of all where and how to find a place in korea i'm gonna talk about about types of housing in Korea and what you can expect. Then we're gonna go into what are realistically your options for your budget. Then I'm gonna show you real apartments in that price range with prices, with pictures, with videos, places that I've been to, places that I looked at when I was finding my place and places that might become your place. I'm going to go over types of payments for apartments and your monthly rent and what you need to know to know the total of how much money you will have to pay for living in Korea. And I'm also going to give you some other insight in what you should know, what you can ask for for your landlord, and what you should look into when finding your next apartment. So without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, you're going to open your apps and you're going to find the app called TikTok. I was looking in apartments for around three to four months and to my opinion this is the best app because basically it's a real estate agent in your phone. You can see the listings in the areas you want to rent in, you can see the pricing, you can see pictures, you can see all of the information and you can adjust the filters to your budget, to your needs. So I love it. So basically when you open that, this is the screen that's going to appear. As you can see there are apartments, villas or two rooms, one rooms and office stills. So I'm going to quickly go over what are these types of housings. In today's episode we will specifically look at the lowest budget that you can think of when you come to Korea. Okay, the second lowest. Let's pretend that you have 5 million won to put as a deposit and you are willing to pay around 500,000 won for monthly rent alone. So this is the budget that we're going to look into today's video. So with that being said, it means that you cannot have apartments and you cannot have office stills. Why? Because these are always with huge deposits, at least 10, 20, 30 million Korean won in deposits. So this is not what we're going to look into. But to explain apartments, you know what are apartments, but office stills are basically office and hotel in one. So these are usually one rooms that are very, very clean, very, very neat, nice design, but it's very small and everything is in one room. So you have your kitchen, your bed, like a small desk area with inbuilt storage room. Like it's very comfortable if you're just one person who is coming to Korea maybe for one year just for business and you know you're going to be working a lot and you're just gonna just basically sleep and work there. That is fine, but for living, that's not what I want. And also, this is not in our budget, you know? So, so we are skipping those two and we're only gonna focus on villas, two rooms and one rooms. So, as the name explains, one room is basically a one room apartment where everything is in one room. So you will have your kitchen next to your bed, which is kind of depressing, but the things you do for Korea, the things you do for moving abroad, it's fine, okay, it's fine, I get it. And <laughs> other option is villa or two rooms. So this is going to be a two room apartment. Usually it's one kind of big room that Koreans like to use for their bedroom slash their living room. And then they have a smaller room, which they always use for clothes. They call it oppang, which is like interesting. I wouldn't, if I lived in a two, <laughs> I do live in a two-room apartment. If I live in a two-room apartment, I wouldn't use a whole room just for my clothes, but maybe it's just me. I feel like there's you don't need that much clothes and there's a better use for space. Anyway, that's just my opinion, but this is how Koreans usually use their living space. So, two rooms and one room. So usually, realistically, this is how it's gonna go. You're gonna decide which area you wanna live in and then you have to decide space 
more comfortably commuting to and from the place where you need to be the most. In my case, I was looking around all of Seoul, specifically close to Gangnam area because that's where most of my shoots are. So if I look at Gangnam, the closer I look, our imaginary budget of the day, realistically you can only get a one room apartment, which is tiny, 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 tiny. But if you are okay with adding like 30 minutes of commute, then you can get a two-room apartment for the same price. So this is all up to you. What is more important to you? Is living space important to you or is being close to where you want to be the most important thing? That's what you have to decide and then what you can do in this app is basically I'm gonna go to two rooms as I said and here Chigorotaki or Teatro Yogorotaki you can choose the area by subway station name or by just looking at the map. So I'm gonna just look at the map. So here you can see the whole Seoul and here you can put your budget. So as I said, I have put Wolse for Obegman as deposit and Oshiman as monthly rent. But when you first start looking, you can choose what is best for you. So here there are three types of Payment. So there's chonse, wolse, and nene. Chonse means renting the place and having very big deposit but zero to very little rent. Wolse is the regular monthly payment and meme means you are actually buying the place, not just renting it. In our case, we are looking at wolse, so monthly payment with the smallest amount possible as deposit. And here you can choose how big you want the place to be. I am looking at all two rooms, three rooms, four rooms. I mean, you're not gonna find <laughs> three and four rooms for that price. So close to Seoul, but if your area is a bit further for Seoul, you can totally find the same price for three rooms. So keep your options open and just put Tonte. And then you can use options, if it's okay to be underground, if it's okay to be on a very rooftop, that is all up to you. I'm just putting everything because I wanna see all of my options. And then you can choose how big the apartment is gonna be. So when you go inside the app, you will be seeing all of the listings that are in your price range. It's gonna show you which floor it is, how much room there is in the apartment, what kind of options there are. Option is how well equipped your apartment is, appliances where to cook, air conditioner, washing machine, stuff like that, because uh, in one rooms, usually all the options are there, but in two rooms or villas, they usually come empty. So it really depends on the place and you have to choose from your budget. If you don't have money to pay for all of the furniture that you're gonna need, maybe it's better to just lower your standards and go to a one room where you know that all of the appliances are gonna be there. But at the same time, there are a lot of villas and two rooms where the previous owners have left stuff and you can use it. So really it's case by case. So you just have to go in and look. There are also two types of one rooms. If you do go for a one room, there is one is simply one room where really, as I said, everything is one room. And there's also Pundrihong one room, which is basically same size apartment but there is some kind of built-in wall that divides the space so it looks like there are two rooms but it's actually the same kind of area size it usually looks better and sometimes there is even a better option when it's still a one room but it's like in two floors so there's gonna be a living room slash kitchen area in one space and then you go up the stairs and there's gonna be just bed or maybe a small wardrobe personally if i would go for a one room i would go in a place like that because the white ceiling makes it feel like there is more space and it's more divided and yeah you're not sleeping next to, next to your kitchen so great but now let's jump into the places that i looked at overall when i was looking for this place i looked at around 12 places i want to say maybe not that many a lot more in the app but the thing is even if you find a good place there are a lot of people looking for those places so they're gonna be grab out in like as soon as there was a nice listing it would be grabbed i should probably mention that what i was looking for is space because i am a content creator i need one room where i can shoot a lot of content so i needed at least two rooms and i needed the interior to be as clean and bright as possible so that really lowered <laughs> what i could find but anyway let's get into the places that i saw okay so first place oh the first place the first place, you guys, is my K-drama dream, okay? I, oh, I got goosebumps in thinking about it. Oh, I would have been so happy there, basically. Okay, so it was for our price range. It was Obegman 1 or 5 million, Korean 1, 
for deposit and 450,000 Korean won for monthly rent and it was a rooftop really home one room so it was like one room space but it was divided into spaces so there was a small bathroom uh, there was like a living air room area together with the kitchen and a small bedroom with a desk which sounds okay, but what you have to know when you look at the app is that every single one of these apartments is shot in 0.5 wide lens. So everything looks bigger than it actually is. And this was the case of this apartment. So it was a rooftop. Anyway, so there was a small bedroom. It's not actually that small. It looks small because it's full, but it was enough to put like clothes, bed and a desk, so not that small and there was like a living room area, there was there were all the options so you had aircon, you had washing machine, you had a place to cook, like everything was there and everything was nice but it was super tiny and the ceiling was very low and I am 175, I am way too tall for Korea, I'm way too tall for this place so maybe if you're someone who is 150 this would actually work for you and I'm happy for you but it didn't work for me and I was very sad because oh, imagine like I don't know I, I, I ask so many people who watch this video are into k-pop k-dramas they want to come to Korea and live their dream and for me even though I've been in Korea for a long time and I am kind of a little bit over that still like it would be such a nice full circle moment to you know first find out about Korea in K-dramas and K-pop and then be actually able to live in such a rooftop apartment I don't know, it would be so cool but damn it, you know, it is what it is it was way too small for me but it had a rooftop and this is hard to find to have a good view in Seoul it's hard to find I'm a morning person I really want to wake up with the sun and see the sunrise so I was like oh I was romanticizing the shit out of this place anyway I'm, I'm, <laughs> what is this video turning into okay next place oh this place was amazing how much was this okay so this was Obeg Man Won for deposit and Oshi Oman Won for monthly rent and it was perfect like it was almost perfect i love everything about it like it was super super spacious everything was white and clean it even had like a big veranda where you can put like your bike or like things that you don't need on daily use but you still need storage for and like it was really good the bathroom was really spacious i love almost everything about it except the location and the price if they would lower the price, I would maybe like give up the location. It was near Suso Yok, Suso Station, but I was like, okay, it is 550,000 won per month, but you have to also add all the bills that you will have for electricity and gas and water and like internet and everything. So I was like, oh, it's not that bad, but like I rather save more money and it was not in such a good location that I would be okay with this, you know what I mean? But like, th this was really good. This was like a really good find. I love everything about it. Okay, moving on to the next place. Okay, then I looked at a few one rooms just realistically. This is how it looks. So you can see that there is a small bathroom, then there is a small kitchen area with a window and we know you and then immediately your bed and your clothes and exit and like a small area for your desk which is like you know it's just really tiny it was it would not be realistic for me because I, as i said i shoot a lot of content inside but this is like realistic what you can expect for Obegman 1 and Oshikman 1 per monthly rent. It's like realistically what most of the apartments are gonna be like the place that i found is like the, f the fact that I found it is is still amazes me I feel like I'm the luckiest person on earth I'm not saying it's fucking perfect like but it is perfect for the amount that I'm paying and it is perfect for the location and it is perfect for how quiet and amazing my neighbors are and everything and like in my area there is everything I could need for so yeah I'm like really lucky with this place I'm gonna show you my room when all of my furniture arrives and I can like finish the interior right now it's just like boxes everywhere and my sofa is still not here and my wardrobe is still not here so it's not yet up to the standard but I'm gonna show you later anyway moving on to the next place it was like one room 
with small kitchen and the room was pretty wide and there was also like this um balcony kind of area where you could also like cook meat and anything and i was like i still i has i was still clinging on to my k-drama fantasy of having a rooftop place but yeah it was realistically like not a good not a good district and not a good just overall it was not that good so I'm not gonna show you more of that. Okay, next place. Next day, I went to this place and I actually liked it. It was nice. So basically, the price was again Obekman one for deposit and Oshiman one for monthly rent. And it was also a two room apartment. It's the second best option. But then again, it doesn't stand close to where I am now. But basically, what it was, it was a nice two room apartment with like small, as I said, opal or like small room oh and it had, a, it had a really cool thing i had never seen this in the korean places but basically if you see here there is like um a storage space that it goes all up here inside the wall and you can put like stuff you don't need like daily like i don't know like blankets maybe like seasonal clothes but i thought it's so creepy and cool like if i was a kid i would love it but then i showed it to my korean friends and they were like oh we have ghost stories about houses who have these kind of spaces that ghosts are usually there <laughs> i was like that's funny and then it also had a very very nice large room with huge window the view on one side was a church and like you can see the whole sky and on the other side the view was even better i loved the view I love the rooms, but it was very run down. It like they said that they're not gonna do um, a new wallpaper. The door frames were like shitty, and one of the windows was like cracked, and they're not gonna change it. So, and most of all, the kitchen area was very weird. Like it had like a very ugly um, boiler that was not taken care of, and there was like this weird division. Anyway, like if I didn't find this place. I could probably just like lower my standards and go there because it was not that bad but like I'm so happy I found this place that's why one thing I want to remind you when you are looking at apartments and you're going from place to place and you're going to one place in hopes and then it turns out not as good remember then even when it feels like things are not going your way things were actually going your way because if I had gone in one of those apartments they would have been smaller a lot less comfortable and I would never find this place so don't be disencouraged and just know that your place is going to find you and as soon as you step into your place you're gonna be like this is my place okay so you're good you're good another cool option is these one and a half rooms it's basically one wide kitchen slash living room area and one room and this is also a good option to look for so these are a few of the places that i saw but of course if you're interested i can keep this a series and i can go to different districts and show you what is the real situation and how the apartments look if you're interested in that but this is basically the situation that you can expect for your budget lastly i will mention a few things that you should know when you are trying to find a place to rent in korea number one as i said you need to be quick because as soon as a good listing comes up Usually the first few people who view it are gonna take it because there are too many people in Seoul. Seoul is overpopulated. Most of the population of Korea wants to come and live in Seoul. Just know that when you find a good place, you need to catch it fast. Next, there are things that you can ask your landlord to make your living situation better. First of all, when you go and look at the apartment, you can ask for dolbe, which is changing the wallpaper and changing the floors. In most of these places that are rented for renters for like a year two three year contracts after these three years they're just gonna change the whole wallpaper and change the flooring because of all the damage that the furniture and the person has done so this is an okay thing for you to ask if you like the place but you hate the wallpapers and you hate the floor you can say are you gonna do dobe for me for like are you gonna renovate this and before signing the contract make sure that you know if they're gonna do it and when they're gonna do it that was the case in my place at first they were like oh it's not that bad we changed everything to like three years ago but then i noticed a lot of things because the previous owner had a dog so a lot of things like at the dog level of my area was like not good so i told her i'm okay to sign the documents but you have to tell me a date when you're going to give me new wallpapers and she basically 
booked the people and they came the next day after I moved in so it was great this is something you can ask for next if you don't have enough money for a deposit you can ask to lower the deposit just because a place was listed at 10 million deposit it doesn't mean you can't get it for 5 million deposit my place was listed as 10 million in deposit but I asked her to lower it to 5 and she agreed to it this like really depends on your landlord in many cases they're going to be okay with lowering the deposit if they can raise the monthly uh, rent for a few hundred dollars. For example, it used to be 10 million as deposit and 350,000 for monthly rent up to like 400 something for monthly rent. If you say, can you please lower the deposit? They're gonna give you the place for like 5 million in deposit and like 500,000 or 550 per month. So you can really negotiate this with your landlord. Another thing you definitely need to ask is about Guadalipi. Is there Guadalipi? It's basically uh, the pay that a lot of landlords have to take care of the place. So to have the stairs, stairways be clean, to have the garden be clean if there is a garden. So basically whatever they need to maintain the place, they're gonna take a Gualipi and you can check what is included. A lot of places include electricity and water and TV and internet in the Gualipi. So usually it is around 30,000 won to 100 or 150,000 won depending on what is included. This is all negotiable, you can ask for. My place has no Gualipi. Only like every three months she said that there's gonna be like 7,000 Gualipi for like taking care of the outside but other than that there's no quality and nothing is included so I pay for my own money for electricity for water and for gas also another thing realistically that you should know is that a lot of landlords don't want to rent for foreigners because they don't want the problems they don't want to have miscommunication they just want to have someone that they can rely on, that they can call, that they can talk to if there are any problems, if, there, if there's any information like just so it's easier for them, they don't want any foreigners. So maybe while you're talking or while you're messaging them, while you're calling, try to find a Korean person who can help you with that process. So they are less likely to say no to you just because you're a foreigner. But realistically, this is what you need to expect. If you need to, I can put some phrases in the description box that you might need while messaging the landlord and asking for stuff. So I will try and give you some help there. But yeah, if, if, if you are totally lost in Korean, you should find someone who can help you with this process. And the rest of the things that you need to notice are just the same as in other places. If you're gonna buy an apartment on the first floor, more likely that you will have some kind of insects or bugs coming in, you know, that's just, that can happen. So speaking of insects, definitely, definitely, definitely check if there are cockroaches in your apartment or in the apartment that you want to go in. It's Korea, a lot of places have cockroaches. Oh, I have goosebumps, I hate cockroaches so much. I have relived in one place that had cockroaches and it was the worst experience ever. I don't wish this upon anyone. So when you go into place, check for cockroach traps. If there are a lot, it might mean that there are cockroaches and they're trying to get rid of them. But then again, a lot of the house owners are gonna give you cockroach traps just in case, especially if you live in first floor because they can enter the house and then they start populating in your place so some of the owners will give them to you like every half a year just in case so it, just because you have them in the house it doesn't mean that there are cockroaches in that place but check for that and open drawers and check for like cockroach poo <laughs> like small black dots somewhere in like corners of like um, the drawers or like corners deep in the pantry always check for these things and also check for mold because Korea is very 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 humid especially in summer so if there is mold usually they're just gonna slap a wallpaper on top and call it a day and you won't even notice but if you do check the place before they check the wallpapers try to see that if you can talk with the previous owner because a lot of the times they let in new tendons to visit the place where the previous owner still lives there ask them if there is mold or ask them if they have any problems with the apartment before you actually go in there so those are would be the things that i will definitely check but yeah that is pretty much all for today's video i hope it was helpful i hope you have some kind of more insight of realistic uh, things that you can expect when renting a new place in Korea for a very very low budget if you have more questions if you want me to actually go and look at even cheaper places and show the realistic situation there or if you want me to go to places with a bigger deposit that are nicer and like 
bigger and you know more beautiful i can check that out just let me know in the comments what you're curious in and if this was helpful to you please like the video subscribe to my channel i'm gonna see you in my next video